Dude, something amazing has happened. Something so cool has happened. Last week, I was watching some football. Football playoffs, wild card weekend. And every commercial, well, no, not every commercial, every other commercial was like, uh, hey, the weekend. He's doing the halftime show, eh? Oh, all right. Uh, hey, uh, just in case you didn't know, just in case you haven't been watching, like, football all weekend, we just wanted to let you know. Just wanted to remind you that The weekend is doing the halftime show. And his favorite pop's Pepsi, by the way. So, that got me thinking. That song, they were playing the song, Blinding Lights, during the commercial. Which is a great song. Very, very, very good song. The best part of that song is the synth in it. Best part of the song. So, that gave me a little bit of an idea. Why don't I go on to Spotify and just just go to the search bar and just type in synth? What's going to happen? So I do that. And dear lord, it opened up an entire world I didn't even know existed. And I discovered a new genre. Synth wave. Oh my god, it's good. Oh, it's good. And there's all kinds of different synth sub-genres. Like... There was a stuff like dark synth, there was like driving synth, chill synth, there was like love synth, and horror synth. Ooh, scary. I did not enter that, that playlist or those kinds of playlists. I was too afraid. And as I'm listening through these playlists, I'm made my own playlist and I'm taking my favorite songs from these playlists and adding them into my super playlist and as I was doing it this song it's called drive by stalking by night stop this song is one of the greatest songs I've ever heard in my life drive by stalking by night stop now this guy night stop I see his name come up a few times in this playlist. Seems to be a pretty uh, popular DJ in the synthwave genre. Now, some of his other song titles, they're a little creepy in nature. Um, so there's something called Streetwalker. Okay. Midnight Hunger. Hey, hey, come on now. Disco Pervert. He has a song called Disco Pervert. Yikes, dude. Uh, Dangerous Desires. Come on. That's not that bad. And then another one. What a Night to Kill. Oh my god, man. Jeez. That song fell into the... Or it should have fallen into the horror subgenre but it was kind of dancey but the title was what a night to kill holy fuck dude what you're like when this guy's making these songs what he's thinking of is probably not what i'm thinking of like i'm thinking of oh this is a really cool fun dancey song he's might be thinking of something a little more R-rated. Now, going back to that song, Drive-By Stalking, there's, 
that doesn't sound that bad. Drive-by stalking. So somebody drives by in their car. Windows tinted, I'm sure. Because they want to conceal their identity from you. If they're just driving by... So it's just a car, tinted windows, drives by you every once in a while, and you just think, hey, there's that car. I know that car. I keep seeing it. Like, once a week, I see this car. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Probably slips your mind 50% of the time. So that kind of stalking is acceptable, I think. Who cares? That's not bad. There's definitely worse ways to stalk somebody. Like, if somebody approaches you in person all the time, that's kind of scary. Or maybe there's somebody hiding in your attic and they come down from your attic one night and you're sleeping dreaming away and they kind of touch your shoulder like hey 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 wake up wake up and you wake up and then there's this person standing above you and they're like hey uh i've been watching you for three and a half weeks now and i just wanted to let you know that i love you forever <gasps> now that's terrifying but drive-by stalking, not so bad. Um, maybe there's somebody in your basement and they have their own compound in your basement that you didn't even know existed. Maybe they have, there's another level of your basement you didn't know existed. I'm thinking of that movie Parasite, which isn't really stalking, but... There's one scene in that movie that's absolutely fucking terrifying. And I thought going into that movie called Parasite that it was going to be like aliens and stuff. Or like some kind of monster or like, I don't know, dude. I wasn't thinking what it was. I'll say that. And it wasn't scary. I thought it was also going to be scary, but it wasn't. There was one scene, however, terrifying. As I was watching it, my heart fluttered. I was like, oh, shit. But all of his, this guy's songs, Night Stop, they're good. So his the song titles being creepy, I'll give him a pass. I'll give him a pass on that. I don't know this guy. I looked him up on Google. And... He just seems like a simple guy. He looks like a regular dude. He's from Finland. Some DJ from Finland. Go figure. But he just looks like a regular guy. I was I was hoping that I would find some like Matrix looking pictures or like him. He's like dressed up as Blade. Like that'd be that's what I wanted to find, but just found like a regular looking dude. And right now this synthwave stuff, it's all I'm listening to. All I'm listening to right now. Rap, oldies, like classic rock, other EDM, orchestra. Get the fuck out of town. Get out. John Denver, you can stay. John Denver's the only one that can stay. Everyone else, get out. And don't come back for the foreseeable future. Because right now, it's synthwave only. And I'm liking it, and my brain is liking it. Because since I started listening to this stuff, it's only been like a week. But all my imagination is like revolving around this music. It's kind of like... This music it makes me think of like like Blade Runner shit. Like Blade Runner or like Cyberpunk. It's kind of got like a 80s retro vibe. The art for this stuff is fucking really cool too. The the colors are all like kind of like
purple, pink, light teal, bluish stuff. Really cool. And there's also like kind of some of the pictures are a lot of like there's like Miami Vice kind of stuff, which kind of, I guess, ties into the 80s. Was that show in the 80s? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about with that. But the arts are really cool. The visuals for all these songs are really cool. And my imagination has just been firing with this shit. So Netflix, um, HBO, probably not Disney, but or Amazon. Amazon's on the uprise. If if any of these people want to give me a call, like I've got a show. I have a show in my head. It'll be like Blade Runner, like that setting, but it'll be like car gangs in the Blade Runner era. Like Fast and Fury Fast and Furious like slash Fury Road kind of stuff where it's just like car gangs. That would be super cool. Why aren't why is there not a show like that anyway? That'd be pretty cool. Uh I have about eight seasons in my head. The story for all eight seasons. And a fair amount of dialogue. So any of these people can give me a holler and we'll figure it out. Now my budget needs to be infinite because I can't fully showcase my art if we're not spending billions and billions of dollars. Okay? Uh, Disney's probably out of the question with that because they don't want to break that R-rated shit and this shit's going to be violent. Very real. Disney, though, they put out WandaVision uh, two episodes which is out of the norm for them. Usually they do the one episode a week kind of stuff. They're not like Netflix where they put the whole show out at once, which is whack. I like that Netflix does that because then you can just like a show comes out on Friday. You've mucked it by Saturday afternoon. Um, so I'm not a big fan of Disney putting out one episode at a time, but this time they put out two episodes, which is hey, slow down guys, slow down. And WandaVision, I, I admit I'm curious to see what's going on, like what's actually happening, but as far as the content for the first two episodes, there's really nothing to say. Okay? But at the end of the second episode, it was black and white to start, but at the end of the second episode, they brought the color back, which was a very, very good idea. Because black and white sucks. Black and white TV sucks. Uh, oh, hockey's back, which is very good news that they were able to figure it out. Shortened season. Um, the Canadian division has been really exciting so far. Every game that of the Canadian division that I've watched has been a good game. And it's really the division to watch this year. Really exciting stuff. I'm I'm watching hockey right now as I'm doing this. Uh for the football divisional playoffs this weekend. My LA Rams, they lost to Green Bay. But you know what? It's fine. I like LA, but first, I like football. Right? I don't mind. Aaron Rodgers can go get another ring. That's cool with me. Actually, any of the teams remaining, I'm fine winning. I don't really hate very many sports teams. But I'm a fan of, like, football. I'm a fan of hockey. I, I like watching the games. I have teams that are my favorite, but I also like all the other teams and all the other players. If if you watch football or hockey and you only follow the one team you like and you don't really know anything else that's going on in the league, that's kind of strange. Like 
Are you in a cult? Or do you like do you like the sport? Or do you like this team? What's going on? That sounds real culty to me. Um the Buffalo Bills, great fan base, probably the best fan base in the NFL. It's nice to see them get far because the Bills Mafia is fun. All their stuff they do is fun. Just super, super party, super fun. I've been to a few Detroit Lions games. Uh, I always went with my family, so didn't really partake in the partying. But it all looked like a blast. There's people you get there, it's like 12 o'clock. There's people passed out drunk in parking lots, and they just are left there. And it's okay, they're safe. Everyone's there to watch football. No one's going to hurt this person or do anything bad. There's people in the stands, they're having naps. It's fine. I've never seen a fight at any of these games. I've been to three football games, I've never seen a fight. So, fun environment. I want to go to football games with my friends. That would be fun. Maybe partake in a little bit of the uh, events prior. Get a little bit of a buzz going. Go down to Buffalo. Cross the border. Buy yourself some booze. Crush it in the parking lot. Because it's probably 20 buck a beer inside. That's not fun. It's freaking crazy how much cheaper booze are in the USA than Canada. I remember going to a grocery store in the USA and they had two for $20. Or no, two for $40. 40s. Two for $40. 40s. That's buy one, get one free, dude. You buy a 40 in Canada, that shit's 45 buck at least. Unless you're getting some gnarly stuff like Alberta Premium or fucking Suava. Maybe like Smirnoff Unflavored. That like dollar an ounce kind of booze. But it's pretty crazy. Um, If they had the same price like that here in Canada would. Actually no. Those the LCBO is a fucking cash cow. They should charge more money, and people would buy it. If they raise the price of booze by two dollars, every single thing, another two dollars for the six pack, another two dollars for this two six, their sales would see nothing fall. Nothing would fall in their sales, and then just keep keep creeping it up. Fifty cents a year here, it won't fall. Maybe if it gets like double the price there's gonna be some people bootlegging that shit you're gonna be drinking basement beer or like cellar liquor instead which if you're drinking to get drunk that stuff isn't terrible right if you have a nice chase you just let the fire go down your throat probably tastes like cheese if it's really poorly made and then you just chase with some chase with some pop or some Gatorade or some flavored water. I don't know. That stuff's not so bad. I kind of want to make booze someday. Make some rum. I haven't a clue on how to even get started. But I would do it. Get your own liquor going doesn't even have to be uh fancy or unique just have a you just have to have a cool name and a cool logo it doesn't even have to taste that good it can taste average but with a cool name and a cool logo it'll work yeah uh not that much to say this week not a lot going on for whatever reason just been mucking synth and more synth this stuff 
the synth, it makes me want to go to a rave and just go crazy. Um, I've only been to one rave in my life, but like I'm a raver. Um, I'm a bonafide raver. Okay. Um, I wonder what, why are EDM concerts called raves and not concerts? Every other music, it's a concert, but for EDM, it's a rave. Ooh, like, I think it's just like a cool thing. Like, I'm cool, dude. I go to raves. I'm not going to no concert. That's whack, dude. That's old shit. I go to a rave, bro. I got my cutoff tank. I got my fanny packs, my shorts, bro. Popping E, going to a rave, dog. Like, it's just like a cool thing, a cool thing to say. You want to say, oh, yeah, man, I'm going to an EDM concert tonight. No, you're going to a rave. Never say concert again. It's just like a cool thing. But EDM concerts are pretty fun. Like, I would not recommend going sober. You're going to have a lot more fun if you're high, it seems like. I haven't been to many concerts, most of them like trackside. It's not really a concert. It's just like a venue to get drunk with your friends. Um Dude, I went to Shania Twain when I was a kid. That was actually fire. And I was dead sober. Um I've seen Kiss, like Journey. Those were okay. But I was like young. It'd be a lot different now. Now it just seems like you have to be lit all the time when you go do stuff. Why not? It's more fun. Uh, but yeah, go to a rave. If there's like some synth wave, like the rave I went to was even like wubby wub wub stuff, and it was fine. All like the songs all mesh together. It's just like womp 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 womp. But you're not you're not there to uh, nitpick the songs. You're there to be fucked up with your friends and dance and have fun. Uh, but I would go to a rave of some synth stuff. I don't know. Have a nice pre-drink. Pop some e. Have a handful of mush and just show up and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs>